dust. It's a hazard in many workplaces that you might be aware of. You know it can cause surfaces to become slippery and that you don't want to breathe it or get it in your eyes. But what if I told you a layer of dust as thin as a few sheets of paper could be responsible for this or this? You see, many types of dust can explode. And these include not just organic materials like flour, sugar, or wood, but also inorganic materials such as some metals, paint, plastics, pharmaceuticals, and even some types of textiles. OSHA has identified more than 130 products or materials that pose a hazard for dust explosion. The fact is, Many facilities that have processes that produce dust or fine particles may be at risk of a dust explosion, often with catastrophic results, unless precautions are taken and proper procedures are followed. And that's what this video is about. The National Fire Prevention Association defines combustible dust as a finely divided combustible particulate solid that presents a flash fire hazard or explosion hazard when suspended in air or the process specific oxidizing medium over a range of concentrations. We'll examine what that means and how it can affect you in your workplace. First of all, what makes dust such a highly combustible fuel source? You're probably familiar with the ingredients necessary to start a fire. They make up what's commonly referred to as the fire triangle. They are fuel, oxygen, and heat. When talking about combustible dust, we add two more ingredients, dispersion and confinement. This is what is referred to as the dust explosion pentagon. In order for a dust explosion to occur, all five of these ingredients must be in place. Dust explosions happen when dust fuel is dispersed into oxygen, reaching a sufficient level of concentration in an area of confinement and comes into contact with an ignition source, heat. The scary thing about dust is that it doesn't just burn, it explodes. Uh, we had a hopper fire today at a wood manufacturing plant. Wood crews finally got here. Uh, on arrival, uh, we had fairly heavy smoke coming out of a hopper uh, that had some wood product in it. And what happened when you guys opened the hopper? Uh, as we were working through the hopper, uh, there was a slight dust explosion that occurred um, as we were trying to mitigate the fire. And was everybody okay? Yeah, everybody is fine. So what is that dust explosion? Like what happens? It's just uh, the dust meets oxygen and catches fire at a rapid pace. Is, there, is it very hot? Is it dangerous? Uh, it can be very dangerous. Uh, it has a bit of a concussion feel to it, but it uh, again, it, in the wrong conditions, it can really hurt somebody. And once again, everybody was okay? Everybody's fine, yeah. And the fire's now under control? Uh, fire right now, we're uh, still working on it, uh, just making sure it hasn't entered the building. And how how much of a cleanup and uh, overhaul is this going to be? Uh, it should be finally, most of it looks like it's contained in the hopper itself, so shouldn't be take long.